So I am at the new workshop this morning, this afternoon. It is Saturday here. Whoa, I'm a bit hairy today. I have to do a tiny bit of water jet cutting and I thought I would take you along and show you that. Right, so the tough part now is getting this little bit of metal out. It's held in by a little thing, I'll show you. So that there is what's holding this bit in. That little bit is called the tag. Now I can set the width of it, so if we're cutting a really thin bit of metal, like say half a millimetre, then you want quite a wide tag because you know it'll it'll easily just get sort of flicked out or thrown away. If I'm doing a thicker metal like this, I want a really really narrow tag. Now I set it to 0.4 millimeters wide, which is really narrow. But because this is I think 13 or it's meant to be 12, but 13 millimeters thick, then it's a solid tag. Like I think I might have to like use a hammer or. A punch or a screwdriver or something to get this out but I edged on the side of it being a little bit thicker because you know it's taken me 17 minutes to cut and if I made it too thin it's gonna fall to the bottom of the tank and it's gone so by edging on the side of the tag being too wide and me having to hammer it out I know I'd rather do that than have to cut the whole thing again not to mention the cost of the material I mean I think this sheet of titanium is like $500 or something so yeah it's not cheap I thought it was going to be way tougher to get out than that. So I sort of got it set up with a hammer and a screwdriver and did like a sort of test hit to sort of just see how it was going to be. And then I was going to record it and show you me popping it out, but it just went pew and it just popped out. So this is it here. It is just a little long cube shape of titanium. Now what this is for is my machinist's project is coming up, he's going to be launching it next week. Because it's machined out of a solid lump of titanium, I said it would be a really good idea to show what it's made out of. So I was basically cutting this as the blank, just to show this is what it starts off as and just to emphasize the work that goes into making this particular product. So that's pretty much what I came over here for today. I'm also dropping off the product that I tumbled for him yesterday so I'm dropping that off as well but that's me done here in the workshop
Okay, so I've just arrived back and I have one or two things to discuss with you. Right, doorstep talk. Now the new workshop I was in this morning is about an hour, an hour and 15 minutes from where I live here. Now it may seem like quite a waste of time to drive over there and drive back. I mean, it's two, two and a half hours depending on traffic. But here's the thing, I get a lot of thinking done. Like sometimes I listen to podcasts, you know, audiobooks, things like that. But a lot of times I just listen to nothing or I listen to music and kind of zone out and just think and sort out my thoughts. And today was one of those days where I got some very real crystal clear revelations, you might say, about, certainly about business anyway. And I thought I'll share those with you right now, especially in light of what I've been talking about recently with sort of CNC machines and things like that. If you've been following me the last few days or last week or two, I've talked almost every day about a CNC machine, buying a CNC machine. But truthfully, the business isn't ready for that. There's a few reasons. One is partly on the suggestion of my CNC machinist, who I use, you know, he's a guy who's been in business quite a number of years. He's had one or two of his own businesses. He's, you know, currently got a business. He's, you know, that's his, that's his thing. He's a machinist and, you know, I work with him. And, and he suggested focus more on getting more products out and, and that kind of thing. And, you know, down the line, get a CNC machine. Now I want a CNC machine, but truthfully, he's right. He's a hundred percent right. When I think about it, I do need to get more products out. I do need to sort of like get cash flow going and things like that. And you know, it's a double whammy. Not only is a CNC machine gonna cost a lot of money, I'm also gonna spend time on it. And that's time away from getting new products, getting, you know, new business and, and sort of cash flow and more profits. So it's like, it's, it's like not just a step back, it's two steps back at this stage. But even if my CNC machinist hadn't said that, there's something else I was really thinking about today. Like, you know when you start thinking about things like CNC machines or products or something you want to buy and want to get and you're like, oh, you're kind of excited. But there's that feeling where uh, you don't want to admit it, but you, you know it's not quite right. It just feels like it's not the right time regardless of how much you want to push and go for it. I had that feeling very strongly today and I sort of proved it to myself that it's really, really not the time to get a CNC machine, even though I really want one personally. There's actually one or two reasons at least. Firstly is that the cash flow in the business, you know, like I'm not sure of the specifics because, you know, things have changed, but I, I know a few months ago, like I'm not really making any progress. I'm keeping the lights on would be the phrase, you know, like lots of money coming in, lots of money going out. And so I really do need to get new products. I need to spend the time designing new products, you know, launching Kickstarter projects, keeping in contact with my email list. I've really been slacking on that lately. I like, I've got a, you know, a, a decent email list of previous customers and potential customers who sign up sort of for a free offer on my website and I've just not been contacting them, not for weeks. Like I, I usually would send an email two or three times a week. At one stage I was even doing it once a day but I found that too much and I think they found it too much. That was about a year ago or something. But it's really like, I've just not been doing it. I should be maintaining contact, kind of like I do with this video, a video every day. I should be building and maintaining a relationship with, with the email list and you know maybe even through the post and things like that as well. But here's the thing, here's the real kicker. Here's like the real thing I can't deny. Like when I think back over the last two or three years, when I've upgraded to a, to a bigger, better machine typically or, or something like that in the business, you know, whether it's the water jet cutter, or the first tumbler, or the second tumbler, or even the one, two, three smaller tumblers I had before that for finishing the titanium, or a, a grinder, or a pallet truck for lifting pallets, or a trailer, or the pickup truck I've got, like pretty much everything I bought when I really needed it, where it was too much pain and holding the business back and physical manual labor, to not take that step. For example, the new tumbler, you know, I can put somewhere between 1,000 and 1,400 tweezers in it, tumble it overnight, and it's done. Okay, it's a little bit longer than overnight. Whereas if I did that with the old tumbler, the centrifugal tumbler, it would be, I could do 80 tweezers in four or five hours. So that's like 40 or 50. You're talking about a week's solid physical labor running the machine compared to like overnight with the new machine. And that's 
why I, I had to get the new machine. It was it's like so much manual labor involved, so much hassle. It would really be holding me back in terms of what new projects I could come out with, that kind of thing. And so I've realized whether it's a CNC machine or an EDM wire cutting machine, which I've mentioned in previous videos, or a new bigger tumbler, should I need it, like all these things, I should really only even consider buying it when I'm reaching a bottleneck in the business. It sounds so simple and I and I just, I take a long time to learn things. Like, I like to think that, you know, like, oh, I, you know, I, this is, this was the issue and I learn it, but I don't. I have to learn the lesson over and over and over again. And it takes a long time and usually a lot of pain before I finally learn the lesson. Now, I don't know if I'm gonna learn this lesson now, I'm not sure, but, I've, I've thought about it before and I thought, you know, typically I buy a machine and the best time to buy a machine is when it's it's too much hassle and time and effort and business cost and opportunity cost not to buy it. Rather than, you know, and recently, to be honest, I've been forcing and pushing myself the other way in terms of the CNC machine. Like I've been just wanting it and saying I want it and it's not being realistic. So this is a sort of kick in the pants to myself to, you know, to sort of just grow up focus on the business because I really do need to do that more. I need to get the cash flow better. It's it's too close like that. The incomings and the outgoings are too evenly matched. I need, I need, I need way more incomings than outgoings. I need to get out of debt. I'm in overdraft. I need to pay off the water jet cutter still. Like, And that's why today's drive was so helpful. All these thoughts just crystallized. They're just like, oh, that, that, that. And yes, my ego took a battering. And yes, it's harsh. And you know what? It's also a lot of fun as well. Like, I'm not complaining. I enjoy every day, even when stuff goes wrong. And today was a good day, so it makes me realize, makes me buckle down, think, keep my thinking accurate. I thought I would share that with you because you may, may not find it interesting, but I found it interesting telling you. And with that, I have got a fantastic quote for you today. I have never heard of it before, and I can't believe such a good quote has managed to sort of slip me by for so many years and it ties in very well with what I was just talking about. It's by Publilius Cyrus and he said, would you have a great empire? Rule over yourself. <laughs>